These are just smooth three-quarter swings, but I'm in shock how straight the ball goes. Every, every shot has been straight. As with all things, let's start with Ben Hogan. And I've always noticed in this shell clip, I've been aware of this for years, you'll notice that it seems like Mr. Hogan has a nice, generous bend in his left arm. Do you guys notice that? You can see that he does not have his left arm locked out. It's kind of curved around his neck here. Now, if we take it down to the actual swing itself, we're going to notice something interesting. As we get down to impact, if I draw a line down his humerus to the ball, he's lined up to hit that ball. But we can see that the left elbow is turned outward, which is different than the idea of having the elbow pocket up to the sky. And there is a generous bend in that hinge joint where the hands are probably eight inches behind and the club head is way behind, which potentially creates an even greater whip through the golf ball. So this is the essence of the bend that I'm talking about in the golf swing. So this softness in the lead arm is giving me a feeling I've never had before, which is a greater feeling of whip through the golf ball. Okay, guys, so I was heading out to the golf course, and I just had a strange moment of inspiration where I thought about Hogan's soft lead arm. So I just figured I would give this a try, and and it gave me a really funky kind of feeling of stretching out through that arm in the transition. And I'm like, wow, you can actually hit a golf ball like that. You know, a lot of times I'll try something out and it doesn't work quickly. The over the top golf swing worked immediately. This soft lead arm, I'm feeling it immediately. It's very, very fascinating to me. So as you guys know, I've been talking a lot about dispelling the myth of going over the top. And everybody teaches swing out wide and out instead of inside and up. So today I'm tackling, is wide even necessary? because you look at Ted Ray, Varden, a lot of these old timers, you know, they bent their left arm bringing the club up. And I've noticed that Jordan Spieth and even Ben Hogan had a soft lead arm. So I'm playing around with this today and it's, it's fine. You can hit the golf ball fine like that. I'm reminded of how Fuzzy Zeller pulls it down and through the hit, and that's that's what I'm feeling. Is I really feel a strong pull from my left side when I stretch that arm out on the downswing. So it's it's something to fool around with, you know. I think there's a lot of a lot of ways to swing the club that people generally avoid, and and maybe there are better ways to swing the club. Hey guys, let's talk about the soft lead arm. We have Ted Ray dialed up here. Look at this wiggly back swing that you will see the soft lead arm and it will straighten in the transition for leverage over the top. Very interesting. I think this is worth another look. Forward press, caddy drag, bent left arm, and wham, that club straightens as the weight of the club head extends him down through the impact. Now here's Harry Varden. Same golf swing, inside up and over, flexed lead arm, and the weight of the club head straightens the left arm out down through the impact zone. Let's take a look at an iron from Mr. Varden. Pronounced caddy drag. They're just smacking down on the back of the ball. This is, this is instinctual golf right here, no doubt about it. 
Now, the opposite is what I've been doing most all my life, a stiff lead arm. Rory McIlroy is one of the examples of this that I see on the tour today. It seems about right here we see him stiffen and lock out that left arm. You know, it turns you into kind of a robot. So let's take a look at Hinako Shibuno. Um, this is the ultimate in left arm lockout. She's got that left arm absolutely hyperextended. It looks like she broke her lead arm. I don't think that this is good in the game of golf. It looks a little bit robotic and stiff in the transition. If you could relax that left arm, I think it'd be way better. So let's look at Jay Haas. Just became the oldest player to ever make the cut in a PGA event at 68 years old. Soft lead arm. This is this this goes right along with the inside OTT golf swing, guys. It's crazy. And we see that Mr. Haas has that type of motion down and over. That is what we're looking for, guys. So today, let's work on a soft lead arm. So as I head back out here, I keep doing this soft lead arm, and I'm surprised at the whip and compression that it's adding to my golf swing. I've heard people talk about the golf swing as a double pendulum, but now I'm beginning to think of it as a triple pendulum. It's absolutely amazing how the golf swing is less like a lever in this way. These are just smooth three-quarter swings, but I'm in shock how straight the ball goes. Every, every shot has been straight. So my feeling is by softening the lead arm, the body instinctually knows where the bottom is and where square is. It's flinging and flying out to square. So I decided to grab my driver and see if this actually still holds up. Now, I'm so used to having a locked lead arm, even the tiniest micro bend in my lead arm, I can feel it. And it is a distinctly different feeling than being locked out straight. You know, it's like over is definitely different than under. So here I'm going to try and keep my arm soft. The very first ball I ripped dead straight. Absolutely crazy. So here I go again, try and keep that lead arm flexed. It really feels like I'm putting the club head way over my shoulder. So that was straight, but I popped it up a little bit. but it definitely gives me a heightened sense of awareness of the weight of the club head and slinging that weight around my body down into the ball. A much greater feeling of whip. That was nice. So I'm beginning to wonder, was this one of Ben Hogan's secrets? Is it one of the reasons why his impact had a different sound and possibly is it one of the reasons why he was able to sling the club head through the impact and that gave him that incredible extension up the line as he followed through to his finish i don't know guys i suggest you give it a try and i hope you hit them long and hit them straight Guys, I've created the biggest controversy in modern golf by insisting swinging over the top is the best way to swing a golf club. Bobby Jones, Sam Snead, and Arnold Palmer all swung over the top. So I want to send you three free lesson videos that will teach you the over the top miracle swing that I teach my students. I shot a 72 with Balboa. It feels like you can't miss.